Hey Siren Body Jewelry fans, this is Valerie from Siren Body Jewelry Tattoo. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about our measuring magnet. So, what we have in front of us here is our measuring magnet. It's a really awesome tool. Let me show you here. Hey, look at that. So, from left to right, let's kind of just talk about what you can see here. On your left side, if you're looking at it, you've got two inches to be measuring vertically. So, say for example, you want to measure something straight. This is a nice, quick way to do it. Labrette or Labre, straight barbell, even the diameter of a circular barbell you can measure here. Things like that. Up here, above, you've got gem slash ball diameter, 3 millimeter, 4, 5, and 6. That way you can kind of pick out, okay, roughly this, this would be about how large my threaded end with the gem will be, or my ball, my titanium ball end. This is kind of helpful for nipple. The larger ones are uh, helpful for nipple, tongue, VCH, and belly button, just to kind of give you a good go-to. So say you started your VCH curve with a, a 5 and you're just not, you're wanting to maybe have a smaller diameter or a larger, you kind of can hold it up and find out. So let me see here. Check out this piece. <laughs> this, look at that. This is our titanium beaded cluster curve barbell. It's got a pretty large ball on the end here. It's anodized rose gold. So let's look at this. Definitely not a six. We're looking at a five millimeter, whoop, five millimeter titanium threaded ball end in 14. And so say you had, you measured your own, like you take your jewelry out, clean it, put in some alcohol and stick it to here. You're like, eh, I think I want to try the four maybe. It's only a hair smaller, you know, but it does make a difference. Or you could be like, well, I think I'm going to go to the six. So at least you know what you're starting with. That way you order the correct size and you know, like you are aware, okay, I have a five. I can go down in size or up. That way you don't, that way you understand what size you have so you can order, ooh, order what you like. Still kind of figuring out how to get to the camera to focus. Okay, so then, uh, in this, let's go down to the center. Here's our website, www.sirenbodydoer.com. Just in case you forget, you can look it up that way. And then this is our really neat logo. <laughs> I really really enjoy how uh, how this came together in this magnet. I love this shape. Very neat. Um, all right, so over to the gauge size. So gauge size refers to how thick it is, like how thick the bar is, or curve, or um, the libre, the librette. So this is, um, See how we kind of went small to large here? This is the reverse, I guess. We're going small to large here. So 18 is smaller than 16 is smaller than 14 is smaller than 12. You can see how thickness increases as you go from right to left. So let's see a look at this. Beautiful, one of a kind color. <laughs> no joke on this, it's actually listed as one of a kind because it is like a light lavender with a little bit of ice blue popping in there that you that was not planned for, but here we go. Let's see, I don't know how thick this is, right? So let's see, okay, we know it covers all the 18 and it's too big. 16 it covers, okay? 14, you can see a little bit on each side, kind of. And so that's a 14. You can almost guarantee that's pretty much a 14. It's definitely not a 12 because you can kind of hold it. Oh, my hands are kind of funky today. You can hold it to the left and see quite a bit. You don't want that. Then you know it's thinner than a 12. It's not as thick, so it's definitely 14. Boom, and let's see, what what is the diameter? What do you guess? 
I can I can guess straight away. I know looking at that that's a four, but let's verify. There we go. Four millimeter. Definitely not a three. Too big to be a three. Four. Way too small to be a five. Definitely not a six. Okay. Um okay, so then all I can demonstrate. So when we measure here at Siren Body Jewelry the length, we do not include the threaded ball end. So you can see I'm holding this P the little notch by the zero right above where that ball meets the straight shaft. So roughly we're measuring here in at an inch and a quarter. You can see how the notches are inside. Now to, if you really want to, let me see, you can't really see that. If you really want to see exactly how long it is, there you go. Take off each ball end and you'll know for sure, but definitely you can estimate it's definitely an inch and a quarter. So it's not really an estimate, but you can eyeball it like that after some time. If you are concerned, like I said, just take off the ball ends and measure just the shaft without the ball ends so you don't have to fiddle with is that close enough or not. Mm, let's see, what else can we do? Oh yeah, so the right side here, the reason why these are created for, these are not like uh, designed to measure plugs or tunnels or eyelets. In fact, this was made so that we could uh, quickly measure uh, the width, the diameter of a nipple piercing or how long we need the shaft to be uh, for like downsizing or properly sizing someone that would come into the shop and say, hey, I got these pierced somewhere else and I don't know what length they are. Let's have a look so I can shop for some jewelry. So we would use this as a tool to quickly see, okay, well, you're running in at a 9 16 So you can shop definitely for anything 9 16 or 5 eighths. Definitely are not uh, a half inch, you know. So in that way, you can also use this at home. Basically what you do is um, you hold this up. You wanna kind of, you don't even have to touch your body with it, but you can hold this up and see like in line with where you're pierced at left to right on your nipple and see, okay, well how, what is the distance between this piercing hole and this one is basically what this is measuring. And if, and, and, and if you have any doubt, like if you're like 916 look, looks a little snug, it never hurts just to bump your length up uh, to five eighths of an inch, uh, just because you do not you do not want anything too tight on the nipples, it can cause some serious discomfort and some issues healing, etc. etc. All right, let's look at this now. <laughs> I was like looking to see if I had a six millimeter. There's a six millimeter ball right there. So these are our glitter ends. Let me clear it off. There, glitter ends. Looks better with this. There you go. In like a tealish ice blue green. Also one of a kind. It's really pretty. I like how it kind of looks like my painting in the background. The colors. Beautiful. Um, what else? Oh, just one more example. This one's really pretty. One of a, well, actually I can replicate these, but not the oil slicking. Nope. That is one of a kind. See that on that titanium heart? Flat. All right, so we're going in for a three millimeter. Boom, there's a three. Anything smaller than this visually would be like a two or a 2.5. Or a 1.5, but that gets really tiny, which is okay. Mm, let's see. I'm going to unscrew this threaded end and drop it for you. <laughs> oh, let's see. Ah. Okay, I'm going to set it down. So you're like, well, how how big is that beaded cluster, really? So I'm going to estimate. Now, now pretend I'm not sure. So let's look at this. Can you see Can you see that when I set this gem close to the 4 millimeter circle, I can roughly see that that gem is definitely a 4, plus the beading. And... These these little beaded ends are two approximately two millimeters in diameter, so that's about a six. So the top is about six millimeters, give or take, all details included. You know, the gemstone is a four, and with the beading, it turns into a six millimeter overall diameter. 
something important to note when you're shopping. Um, and there's that. So let's measure a curve. Um, sometimes these can be deceptive with our eyes, so I have to set it down. And let's see. You can just set your jewelry right on there. All right, so using the same kind of principle of not measuring the ends, just the shaft. This is a half inch curve. From the top of that to the top of that is a half inch. There you go. Now you know this is a, well, okay, there's half inch length. What gauge is this? Well, how thick is it? 14 gauge, half inch length with a five millimeter ball, right? And then a six millimeter threaded end. So, heck of a way to shop for yourself. And that way you know, hey, I need another ball end from Siren Body Jewelry. I can order anything in five, like you could get yourself a really cool oil slick end instead. Or you'd be like, I just want to change out the shaft to like three, shorten it to three eighths. Can I do that? And I'd say, yes, we can get you another one in rose gold in three eighths. So, don't be afraid to ask. Another way to measure things, circulars, sure. We don't really sell circulars much larger than this, and this is like a 16 gauge, so. But again, here, measure the inner diameter. It's 3 eighths, you can, I can't, there we go. It's hard to show you. I'll get better at this, promise. Um, so I can see here, it's, the inner diameter is a 3 eighths because the notches are in between. You can kind of see, there you go. It's definitely not 5 16 which is smaller by visuals, and then the three, the little green balls are three millimeter, not four. So petite, but good enough to use in a septum piercing uh, because you can put some gloves on and easily tighten these. When the balls get very small, it is hard to grasp them sometimes and tighten them properly. So there you go. I hope this was helpful and if you have questions, just leave them in the comments below or suggestions, go ahead and um, tell me what you're looking to see. All of these pieces are available on the website. I have not listed that gorgeous industrial bar with the oil slick um, heart. So that's not on there, but there you are. Wanna see the painting? Dun dun dun. It's just drippy fun. That's it. You ever seen those moss balls in the fish tanks and the pet stores? That is that. <laughs> no, it's just inspired by that, and I love green, so there you go. I hope this was great, and uh, stay tuned for more videos when I feel like making a video. Uh, I've been taking a bit of a social media break for my own creative brain, and this is why I can make a video. So, again, shop the website, sirenbodyjewelry.com, subscribe, ask questions in the comments. Um, I don't know, that seems about right. Hope you guys have a great day. It is Tuesday here, and I'm off to pierce some people today, so... Carry on with the day. Tally ho. Over and out. Valerie from sirenbodyjewelry.com.